Hello HubSpot users, today I'm going to show you how you can create one of these. This is a real-time KPI dashboard, which is not only powered by data from HubSpot, it's also powered and visualizes data from LinkedIn and Google Analytics. We know that this is a really common situation teams find themselves in when they use multiple tools, whether that's HubSpot, Google Analytics, Zendesk, others, and they don't have a way of pulling that data together into a single view or a single dashboard. So today it's going to take about 10 minutes, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this dashboard using Gecko board and um, so you can create your own custom dashboard to visualize the KPIs that you care about. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to geckoboard.com and we're either going to log in if we have an account as I do or we're going to sign up to a free trial. Uh, now the free trial includes, it's fully featured, includes all the features, it's completely free, it doesn't require any credit cards. Um, so if you want to try Gecko Board out you can just sign up for a free trial there, otherwise I'm just going to log in into my existing account. Now when you've signed up, the first page that you're going to be greeted with is this page of data sources. So to get going, I'm going to look for LinkedIn and we have the choice of LinkedIn or LinkedIn ads and I'd like to visualize some metrics from LinkedIn ads. Um, so the first metric I'd like to visualize is ad spend. Now if you don't have a connection established already, it's at this point that it's going to ask you to connect your LinkedIn account. So just follow the wizard to set that up. Um, but I already have a connection established, so I'm going to start building my first widget. Um, so this is my ad spend for the last 30 days, and I think I'd like to have a dashboard that shows me what's going on generally over the past seven days. So I'm going to change the time filter to show how much we've spent on our ad account over the past seven days. I'm also going to add a comparison um, and I'd like to compare to the previous period um, so we can see there that we've spent um, 48 pounds more in the last seven days than we did previously so I'm going to apply that and once I'm happy with my widget I'm going to add it to my dashboard so in addition to seeing my um, overall ad spend for the last seven days, I think I'd also like to see how this is changing from day to day um, so I'm going to click and duplicate this widget and then edit it again just to show a different visualization. So rather than showing the number visualization, which gives you a total, I'm gonna select line chart. And this is gonna show the exact same information, the amount of spend um, over the past seven days, but it's gonna show you in the form of a line chart. And uh, because we set up that comparison to the previous seven days, we've also got this dotted line, which shows how we're comparing to the previous to the previous seven days. So again, I'm gonna save that, add it to my dashboard. And because these widgets are related, I'm gonna just group them together like that. Um, and I'm gonna retitle this widget, um, LinkedIn Ad Spend. Seven days, just so we know what it is. Okay, so we're choosing to visualize some of this um, spend information just so we can keep track of our budget and check we're not overspending uh, where we'd expect to be. But you can really display a host of metrics on LinkedIn. Um, so if I just edit this widget, I can show you some of the some of the metrics you want to display. So conversions and leads, you can uh, report on your engagement metrics, a performance such as click-through rate, clicks, impressions, and reach. Um, and also when you add setup for sponsored messaging or video, you can report on some of the metrics associated with those. Uh, but I'm just going to head out of that. I think that's all of the um, metrics I want to show on LinkedIn for now. Next, I'm going to add some metrics from Google Analytics. So again, we're going to follow the same process. We're going to go to our data source connection screen by clicking Add Widget. widget. Uh, we are going to click on Google Analytics 4. And again, we're going to select uh, one of the metrics that we want to visualize. So I'd like to visualize sessions this week. Again, if you don't have a Google Analytics account set up with Gecko Board yet, it's going to take you through to a connection screen where you can connect your account. Uh, but we have an account connected, so this is going straight through to our widget building screen. And here I'm going to um, set this up to visualize the amount of sessions we've had, not over this week, but over the last seven days. So rather than showing the week to date, which includes um, some days which haven't yet happened yet, we're just gonna show the last seven days so we have a nice spread over our performance over the last seven days. And similarly, I'm going to compare this to the previous seven days. There we go, add that to the dashboard. Um, I, also going to duplicate this widget and do the same trick where I can see the total number 
um, as well as the performance over the last seven days. So if I edit this widget and turn this back into a number visualization, I can see there um, that we have the amount of sessions that we've had over the last seven days. So if I title this sessions past seven days, we can see clearly what's going on there. And you might even kind of label this comparison just so there's no, there's no confusion whatsoever versus the previous seven days. So in addition to visualizing the number of sessions we've had in the last seven days, I think I also like to visualize the amount of engaged sessions. So I'm gonna duplicate this widget and I'm going to edit it once more and I'm gonna change the metrics that we're tracking here to engage sessions. Now, just as a reminder, engage sessions is the number of sessions you have on your website where the session is longer than 10 seconds, um, they're viewed kind of two or more kind of pages, and or they have um, completed a conversion event. So this is Google's way of understanding, you know, who are the people on your website that really kind of were actual serious visitors and not the people who kind of come and bounce and leave within a few seconds. I'd like to see how many engage sessions, because that's a good kind of health metric on our on our website. And I'm just gonna duplicate this again to show this as a line chart. And this becomes a nice kind of side-by-side um, comparison we're gonna have here between sessions and engaged sessions. Um, so likewise, we have that comparison to the previous um, to the previous week, and we can add that to our dashboard there. And I'm going to copy this, except name it engage sessions. There we have our number of sessions past seven days, as well as our engaged sessions. This is gonna auto refresh, it's gonna update live. What's interesting here is we can see how there was a little bit of a spike in sessions um, on the 16th of September, but we didn't actually see a spike in engaged sessions. So that's kind of interesting. That shows we maybe got a bit of a, an influx of poor quality traffic from a source. So this is why showing engaged sessions is often a better metric for understanding the quality traffic coming to your website. So that's all the Google Analytics 4 metrics I want to visualize, but if I go in and edit this, again, I can show you the types of things you can visualize. So we've got a whole host here of things you can visualize from user metrics to session metrics um, to search metrics. Gecko Board does have an integration with Google Search Console, so if you wanted to build a dashboard which shows uh, metrics from Search Console, you could you could add that too. You've got revenue metrics, real-time metrics, page, um, screen metrics, um, so you can look into this, and as well, if you want to get granular, you can add filters too, so um, as well as filtering by the kind of time span, you could also maybe choose to drill into the geography, maybe you want to see you know, the amount of users coming from, I don't know, from the United States, um, you could apply that and then you can you know, only show metrics um, from, from one or more kind of filters. So I'm just gonna remove that for now. Um, similarly, you might choose to, um, if you were showing a line chart, you might want to filter this by the, I don't know, again, we can go and filter by the United States and maybe also the United Kingdom. And if we remove our seven day comparison, we can also use the split by feature. So if we wanted to similarly split by geography and split by country, we now have a nice kind of line chart showing just how the United States and United Kingdom are performing. Um, but I'm gonna remove that because um, for now, I just want to compare it to the previous period and show the overall amount of engaged sessions. So I'm gonna save that and um, move that back to being a number widget, how I wanted it in the first place. So next, we're gonna visualize some metrics from HubSpot. I'm gonna select the HubSpot beta, which is our newest HubSpot um, integration, which is currently in beta mode, but will soon be out of beta mode. And I'm going to select uh, the amount of deals created. So again, I'd like to see a, a snapshot of the last seven days, um, and I wanna see the amount of deals created. So let's firstly view this as a number widget to see the total number of deals created. And let's also, just for consistency, add that comparison to the previous seven days. So let's add that to our dashboard. Let's repeat the same trick where we duplicate this widget um, and we run it as a line chart. 
that we can see the amount of deals being created over the past seven days. And in addition to this, I think I'd also like a feed of deals so we can see exactly which deals have been created. This can be a really good conversation starter, uh, particularly if you have this dashboard up on the wall in an office where people can see, hey, we've got a new deal in from, from so-and-so. I mean, it could be a good way of getting your team to engage with the current pipeline. Um, so to display this, I'm going to go to uh, display and then feeds. And we have a special feed here for deals created. I'm going to click on that. Um, and as you can see, it shows the deals that have been coming through in real time that are being created, how much they're worth, and you know when they were created. So if we save that um, and then add those all into a group, Didn't get my line chart. So I'm just going to recreate that line chart widget as it was. No. And delete this. Just going to resize these to how we want them. That looks good. I think we want a nice bit of um, these deals created so we can see exactly what's going on there. And I'm going to title this Deals Created Past Seven Days. Okay, finally, to complete this dashboard, I think I'd like some information on the Deals 1. So again, I'm going to go back to HubSpot. I'm going to, um, rather than choose one of the presets, you can build your own widget, which takes you straight through to the widget kind of editor and creator, so you can choose exactly which... Um, exactly which metrics you want there. Um, so rather than deals created, I'm going to go for deals one. Um, I'd like to show this as a number visualization. I'd like to show this over the past seven days, and I would like to show a comparison to the previous seven days. So I'm going to add that in. I'm going to duplicate it and visualize this also as a line chart. And finally, I would like to add one more widget, uh, but this time I'd like to show the win rate. So I'd like to show, you know, out of all the deals created, how many are we winning? Um, so here I'm going to go to conversion. I'm going to select win rate. And rather than choosing a line chart, which um, can move up and down because it's a conversion rate, I think a better visualization for this would be a gauge. So I'm going to display this as a nice kind of number gauge, which shows you where we are with our win rate over the past seven days. Um, now, the thing about state, the thing about um, gauges is you can add status indicators. So you can say that we're in a success state when this metric is above 40. Um, and you can see how it's created this green section here. So we know that you know, our win rate is pretty good at the minute, 71.5%. Um, um, so this is actually coming from test data. So um, I'm sure not everybody's win rate is so high, uh, but this is why this is so high in this instance. Um, so if I'm going to close that, I'm going to add the status indicator, and they're going to add this win rate widget to our dashboard. And again, I'm just going to group all of these so that we can display them all together because they're all, all related. Um, so again, rather than deals created, I'm just going to create deals one. We can show a comparison here as well versus previous seven days. And we can call this win rate. Brilliant. There we go. There's our final dashboard. So as you can see, um, we've got a huge range of metrics and visualizations types that you can choose from. Um, so really, the possibilities are limitless in terms of what you choose to visualize on your dashboard. Um, but rather than trying to integrate LinkedIn and Google Analytics and HubSpot, if you want to report on all of them and have a single view of what's going on, a tool like this can really save you a lot of time rather than trying to kind of bring those metrics together in a third party platform. Whereas with Gecko Board, we connect directly to your integrations. It updates in real time. It's super easy to build and then you have your final dashboard which you can customize how you like to share with your team so they stay on top of what's going on. Speaking of sharing options, uh, we've got a few options here so we can create a sharing link. Um, so this basically creates a link which you can share um, with your team on either desktop or anywhere else. You can set up email and Slack snapshots. 
These, this is a really cool feature which sends you a snapshot of your dashboard, perhaps once a day, once a week, just uh, to either Slack or email, which keeps people in the loop. You can invite people to view the dashboard, either as a few only users or as an admin user, so they can create their own dashboards. And finally, we have this option to send to TV. So if you want to pair this with a um, TV, you can use the send to TV feature. And that means you can kind of manage your screens remotely. You can update your dashboard. You can update loops of dashboards on a screen without actually having to go over to the screen and, and kind of um, and configure it there from there. You can do it all from your Gecko board account. So there we go. It's really easy to connect your data, really easy to build up your dashboard. You can have multi data source dashboards in a matter of minutes. And it's also really easy to share. So um, if you want to check out Geckerboard, just head over to geckerboard.com um, where you can find out a little bit more about the product and um, how it might work for you. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.